by the Nigerian government in Kutano. She Sunday Ibo has been kidnapped at Kutano. And the funniest thing is that the only thing that me and you can do is for everyone to demand a proper extradition process for Chief Oloye Sunday Ibo. As we know, the Sioux government will go to any land to incapacitate anybody, 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 I mean, that is fighting for their right. They know how to track Chief down to Kotono, but they don't know how to track the kidnappers down. They don't know how to look for the kidnappers. They don't know how to go after the kidnappers. But they know how to go after the people that said they should not be maltreating his people. It's a dark day. It's a very, very dark day. This the guy stand up for justice. He stand up for freedom. He stand up for everything that is called the truth. But where are we today? So that day but well, this is not going to stop anything they will get it the way they need it they will get it i'm sure in the way they understand as well because no matter how you keep oppressing people when they oppressed know they have been oppressed then the oppressor is in trouble the federal government of Nigeria, no matter what you do, no matter what you want to do, you get this wrong. And I'm sure this is going to be the last thing that you will ever do properly in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with very, very painful and heavy heart that I have to announce to you that Shiv Sunday Bo was actually grass up by a Yoruba speaking fellow. He was grasped up by a Yoruba speaking fellow. It was a capital shame that a Yoruba person, a Yoruba person can grasp someone who is looking for freedom for his fellow Yoruba citizens. We know what they do, we know how they do their things. It's always about kidnapping. It's not about rule of law for kidnapping. Everything in that country is actually upside down. People have been killed. People are killed men. They're just wasting their time. They knew where the country is going to and they want to clamp down on it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, no matter what these people do, it's just a complete waste of time. They will not survive it. Nigeria is at its low point. Nigeria is at its low point. No matter what they want to do, no matter how they want to do it, no matter how, how they try it, it is true. Mommy, Christiana Talabi, it is 100% true. You need to understand that I will not come here and tell you what is not true. It is a Yoruba person that grasped Ship Sunday Bo. It is a Yoruba person that grasped Oloye Sunday Bo. Yes, it is a Yoruba person. He was due to fly out. He gets to the airport and it, he, he says there's a problem. He left the person that grass him up, call him and return him back to the airport. But the truth will prevail. The truth will always prevail. Evil will not overpower the truth. No matter what you do in life, evil will never power the truth ladies and gentlemen 
Oloye Sunday Igbowo has been kidnapped in the Republic of Benin. Kutano. Oloye Sunday Igbowo has been kidnapped by Nigerian security operative at the airport in Kutano. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a dark day for all Yoruba people. A dark day, a dark time in the history of Yoruba nation. And the good thing about it is that no matter what anybody does, it is going to materialize. You can try to prevent it, you can try to stop it, but it's a moving train. Nobody can stop this because it has actually been ordained by God. It has happened in the past. It has happened so many times in the past. And nobody, and I mean nobody, and I mean, I repeat, nobody can stop this. She, Sunday Igbo has been kidnapped at, in the Republic of Benin. Chief Sunday Bo has been kidnapped in the Republic of Benin. This is what I was saying earlier on. We need to start making sure that the Omolua be in you come back out. The Omolua being your life needs to be back out because we need to stop. We need to checkmate people with what they were doing. They have always been doing things worse. They have always been doing things badly. And we don't tend to want to correct them. This is the time. Everybody needs to do it properly. Everybody needs to do it right. Because Tabani Kama famous like Oma Dababe, we will cross the bridge later on. It's not going to work. The only thing we need to do is we need to call when something is bad. We need to say it is bad. When something is bad, we need to say it as it is. It is bad. And it is not just bad. It is very, very bad. It is very, very sad.